God's timing isn't always our timing. He may not work things out the way we planned, but He is working things out for better. This COVID-19 pandemic has really changed everything around the world. From our basic routinary way of living to celebration of big events has suddenly shifted to new normal. Today, our dear parents and their children who patiently waited, finally, it's over. St. Ives School Corporation proudly presents Moving Up's virtual ceremony for this school year 2020-2021 with the theme, Amidst the Challenge, Forward, Always Forward. This most awaited event has never been made possible without the support of the equally and highly esteemed individuals from the school administration led by the dynamic and very supportive directress, Mrs. Erlinda A. Cruz. Our dedicated and very young at heart school principal, Ms. Amelia Arpertan, and other distinguished men and women of the entire academic community, colleagues, members of the completing class, the pioneers of the St. Ives Academic Program, proud parents, guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant and joyous viewing to all. Without further ado, please welcome the entrance of the completers from Kinder Angel Michael under the supervision of Ms. Jody Marcello, followed by the entrance of the administration, faculty, staff, and our special guest speaker.
Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it. Kindergarten is the base of every student's life where they learn the basics of life and start life's journey from there. Good day to each and every one. Today we are about to witness the sixth moving up ceremony of St. Ives School, Kinder Angel Michael for this academic year 2020-2021 through this virtual presentation. Mommy and Daddy always say that I am doing a good job. This is why I am now here ready to move up to the next step. At first, I struggled and struggled, but, la but later on, I was able to do it on my own. to stay home, study well, and have fun. Yes, real fun. School is fun, and I'm proud to say that my hands can already do a lot of things. Write, draw, cut, color, click, mute, unmute, and open the book on page, and many, many more. Our six moving up ceremony. I love you, teacher. I love your mommy and daddy. This good job is for you. Wow. It is overwhelming to hear words of welcome and message from our very own school directress, Mrs. Erlinda A. Cruz. Ma'am Amelia Arberdan, our school principal, guest speakers, parents, faculty and staff, friends, and to the graduating class of school year 2020-2021, a pleasant day to all of you. I want to express my sincerest greetings to our kindergarten for your moving up ceremony and to our grade 6 learners for your graduation rights. It is my pleasure and privilege sending you my greetings and best wishes to all of you on this momentous occasion. So you have successfully ended a chapter in your life and will be entering a new one where you will be encountering more challenges. Kayong mga nagsipagtapos sa kinder sa susunod na taong kayo ay nasa mababang paaralan na at ang mga great chicks naman sa mataas na paaralan. Dito, muli niyong maipakikita ang sipag at syaga, disiplina at determinasyon upang makamit ang isang pangarap para sa inyong sarili, 
magulang at pamilya. Always bear in mind that success is no accident. It is a hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing. I want to tell you, dear learners, that you are so lucky and blessed for having a very supportive parents. At ganun din naman sa ating mga magulang na mapalad kayo at nagkaroon kayo ng mga anak na responsable at merong mga pangarap sa buhay. To our dear parents, we are truly grateful for your loyalty and confidence. We really appreciate your trust you have on us and to be part of your child's development. Thank you so much for your incredible patience and flexibility as we conclude the 2020-2021 school year. So again, congratulations and best wishes, my dear kinder and grade 6 pupils, on your next journey. Just don't stop learning and dreaming because learning is the ultimate key to success. May God bless you and keep you safe. May we also hear another message of greetings from our supportive school principal, Miss Amelia Arberdan. Welcome to our sixth Moving Up Ceremony and 21st Grade School Commencement Exercises for the academic year 2020-2021 at St. Ives School, Incorporated. Mr. Ricardo Cruz, the President and School Director, Mrs. Erlina Cruz, the School Directress, Mr. Ricardo Cruz Jr., Vice President Internal, Mrs. Plena Cruz, Vice President Finance, the Academic Coordinator of the Elementary Department, Mrs. Ami Olvida, Mrs. Mary Jane Olyaren for the Junior High School, Mrs. Ginaline Malagueño for the Senior High School, my beloved teachers and staff, parents, our special guests, and of course, this year's candidates for moving up and graduation. A bright and beautiful afternoon to all. Og Mandina believes that we are God's greatest miracle, and so do I. And when we are gifted to be parents, our children become our masterpiece. What or how the child becomes is our gift to God. For us, a child is still a child, but for the children, we are their world. There is nothing that we do that's ever wasted. A child sensitively feels all our love, care, and support as he tries to explore the bigger world the school and during this very important first step you were there to guide his hands as he grips his crayons and pencils to give a nod and smile in every little good job he does in his online class you were there dear parents during that scary and familiar world of distance learning and for that two thumbs up for you Big thanks also goes to their teacher who became their virtual companion in the online class. Her voice, her smiles, her patience, her visuals, and stars of excellence have spiced up all the class and boosted their enthusiasm to learn. Indeed, everything was a test. But despite these challenges, look at them. They are now ready to move up. Time has flown so fast that we never realized that soon they are going to be in the grade school. Thank you dear parents for all the patience, understanding and support that you have offered as we sail along this learning journey. Without all those efforts, our mission to reach out and bring education to the homes will not be possible. I give my highest salutation to you. My special thanks to Teacher Jody that though meeting these kids virtually, 
She has made them feel that school is fun and each day is to be looked forward to because something wonderful, amazing is going to happen. And so I believe that this pandemic has also its rewards across the challenges. As for our grade 6 students, my congratulations too. You made it bravely and independently. You have proven to us that nothing will stop you to dare the high school gateway. You consistently and painstakingly journeyed along and made sure that no one will be left behind. And now the time has come that you will earn all the fruits of your hardship. For after all, this pandemic has taught you that despite challenges, forward, always forward. And just as your graduation song says, and I quote, I am just a traveler in most everywhere. And the end is not in sight, but the stars are out tonight and they're bound to guide my way. Be assured, graduates, that we shall be your guiding stars to help you in every step until you find yourself strong enough to reach your own stars. Thanks to your guiding star this pandemic year, Miss Princess D. Catalunya, your light has been their guide, your love their armor. I would like to take this chance to send my warmest applause to the service awardees of this year. Mrs. Amy Olvida, the Academic Coordinator for the Elementary Department. Mrs. Gina Lynn Malagueño, the Academic Coordinator for the Senior High School. And Ms. Elisa Marie, our school cashier, for their 10 years of dedicated and faithful service to the school. Makes me prouder to note... Mr. Henry Sanchez for his 20 years of commitment to service as the head of the maintenance department. These pillars of the school have all proven that they are real role models of the times and their integrity and service are insurpassable and will serve as an inspiration to all Ibsians. Congratulations! Once again, my sincere congratulations, Kinder Kids! Grade 6 graduates, parents, teachers, and to the whole St. Ives Elementary team, to the management for having made a big leap to push education amidst pandemic. Forward, always forward. Have a nice day and God bless us all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness virtually the main highlight of today's event. To do the honors of presenting this school year's candidates for completion, may we have on our screen our very own and dedicated school principal, Miss Amelia Arberdan, followed right away by the acceptance confirmation by Mrs. Arlinda A. Cruz, our school directress. May we give them a virtual applause. Mrs. Erlinda A. Cruz, the school head and directress of St. Ed School Incorporated, I am happy to present to you the eight candidates for moving up from the kindergarten department and the 20 candidates for graduation from the grade school department for the academic year 2020-2021. From the kindergarten, we have two boys and six girls, and seven boys, 13 girls from the grade 6 class. They all have satisfactorily complied with all the requirements set by the Department of Education for the kindergarten and grade school curriculum and are therefore recommended to receive their certificate of moving up and grade school diploma waiting now for your final acceptance and confirmation by the authority vested in me as the directress of St. Ives School Incorporated by the school division superintendent of the PAP and with the presentation and certification by the elementary principal Mom Amelia Arberdan that these two boys and six girls, or total of eight pupils from the kindergarten, and seven boys. 
13 girls, a total of 20 pupils of the elementary school department have satisfactorily completed the elementary education curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education and hereby confirm their graduation and therefore they are entitled to receive elementary certificates of graduation and certificates of moving up to enjoy what benefits are pertaining thereto. Congratulations and God bless. Finally, it is time for the harvest. Today, you'll be witnessing the awarding of medals and ribbons and certificates to outstanding computers. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Jody Ann Marcelo, the proud advisor of the computers from the kindergarten for the academic year 2020-2021. I am happy to present to you the eight wonderful and smart kids. Rubianis J. Farrell Francis C. with highest honors, Green Dove Awardee, most resourceful. Ulvida Alvin Ezekiel S. with highest honors, Green Dove Awardee, most cooperative. Cruz Sherlyn Maple Miss B. with highest honors, Green Dove Awardee, best in language, best in Filipino. Best in Writing, Best in Conduct, Most Diligent. Fernandez Raina Elizabeth D. with Highest Honors, Green Dove Award D. Most Confident. Mendoza Kale M. with Highest Honors, Green Dove Award D. Most Obedient. Pasqua Zahara Elise P. With highest honors, Green Dove Awardee, most creative. Tan Liv G. With highest honors, Green Dove Awardee, best in reading, most responsible. Villarreal Patrice Amaya D. With highest honors, Green Dove Awardee, best in mathematics, most respectful. Pleasant afternoon to you, my dear graduates. You finally did it, my dear students. Congratulations for being a part of the graduating students of Batch 2021. I am so proud of you. I know that you had a hard time adjusting with a new mode of learning, but you still did your best. Thank you for performing well and participating attentively in our online class sessions. But of course, this event will not be possible without you students, so give yourselves a round of applause for a job well done. Be proud of yourselves. Never let anything bring you down. Keep bringing out the best of you. May you all reach your dreams someday without regrets or hesitations. Be brave and face your obstacles as life goes on. Never give up because there is something good waiting for you at the end of your journey as a student. Never forget the quality education that St. Ives has taught you. Also the character that your mentors had molded you. Never ever forget them. For this will be one of your weapons as you continue your journey for becoming a professional person that you always want. Once again, congratulations graduates of school year 2020 to 2021. Today's affair is not complete without being graced by a special man of sincere service and action who will deliver his words of encouragement and wisdom. Here is the principal RCAMES Cluster 3 Schools, Dr. Henry A. Davalos. Helen Keller said, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. To our president, Mr. Ericardo Cruz, our directress, Mrs. Erlinda Cruz, BP4 Internal, Mr. Ricardo Cruz Jr., BP4 Finance, 
Mrs. Joan Cruz, to our principal, Miss Amelia Berdan, faculty, parents, my dear graduating students, a pleasant day. The new normal school year has come to an end. Today, we celebrate the culmination of the school year 2020. This educational setup tested us in all aspects. Parents, students, teachers, and school administrators were all shaken to the core. It is a year full of doubt, fear, anxiety, and hope. Armed with optimism and confidence that together we will be able to brave and overcome this unfamiliar territory. Together, we embark on this journey known as a new normal. It was not a smooth sailing, but we remain steadfast with our resolve to achieve quality education. Learning in this time of pandemic is a product of collaboration. The school, parents, and students work hand in hand to ensure that continuity of education amidst the challenges forward always forward this year's graduation team remind us of what year 2020 has been and what 2021 will be we were all challenged our safety and protection from the virus was tested teachers and administrators patient and understanding were challenged parents is strength to bear and find solution to problems was challenge students psychosocial development was challenge all aspects in our community and day-to-day -day living were challenge our faith was challenge truly 2020 will be remembered in history despite all this there are still blessings that help us to slowly get up and pace the new day. As expected of us Filipinos, our resilience withstood the test of time. Our ability to adapt with whatever solution prompted us to move forward. Quoting the lines from a song, Forward, always forward. Onward, always up. Catching every drop of hope in my empty cup. We have been drained, but we never lose hope. My dear students, this will be a milestone in your educational achievement. I congratulate you and celebrate your success. As you embark on life's journey, we always remember the gifts bestowed to you and transform this gift so that you will be a blessing to others. Go forth and continue your journey. There are still unknown territories to explore and obstacles to hurdle, but never forget the values you gain from your alma mater. Remember, you are gifted and you are blessed. Never lose hope. Challenges are everywhere. If you know where you're headed, you will not go wayward. Don't get stuck. Move forward. Again, congratulations and a pleasant day to everyone. At this juncture, shall we watch the completers through a video presentation of their moving up song entitled End of the School Year. The moment for our completers has come. Let us hear and witness her words of gratitude. Here's Shirley in the Maple Mist B. Cruz from Kinder Angel Michael. Good morning to one and all. Today, I'm here to sing a few words on parents' 
Radiant Saint Ives Hope, Management, Faculty and Staff. General need, parents are those who give us the chance to enter this wonderful world. Parents are the biggest gift given to us by God. God made parents because they cannot be everywhere, so let us keep our parents happy and respect them. So, Mom and Dad, thank you for everything. I promise that I will work hard and take pride in you. Thank you, Teacher Jody, for all the patience, knowledge, wisdom, and kindness. To St. Ives School, I teach parents, faculty, and staff. I would like to offer my for helping us go through the school year, even when the COVID scared. Thank you, Pastors, for all the friendship and happiness. On this note, I would like to end my speech. Thank you for all your patience. I wish you all a great day. At this juncture, shall we watch the completers through a video presentation of their moving up song entitled, End of the School Year. It was the first day of school We were over the moon All together in class We were learning so fast Then one day It all changed We had to stay inside Well, my friends It's 